Kia ora friends, Dan here from Walking with Faith Adventures. Wow, what an incredible time we had celebrating our third year anniversary. I want to welcome you all to our Kaha Kare Kare adventure. Hey guys, my name is Ronald, I'm from Sydney and I'm here visiting the Kare Kare uh, hike and it's just a, such an amazing view if you look just behind me. Um, definitely a place I would say come and visit, so yeah. <laughs> Three years ago, after hiking the Tongariro Alpine Crossing in National Park, three brothers, Harold, James and I, came up with an idea and a vision to create a hiking group ministry for all people. A group where people could come together without judgment, to be able to connect with nature, each other, while experience the kindness and grace that God has for all of us through others that really care through having faith themselves. Walking with Faith Adventures is also about activating your own faith in a way you can accomplish something extraordinary with a purpose of others in mind. Kaha Kari Kari. Such an inspiration behind an incredible hike. In Māori, Kaha means doing something courageously, while Kari Kari means surf or rough waters. Walking with faith is about keeping things real. So it's fair to say we all have been through or going through some rough water. Sometimes with the situations you feel so hopeless or lost, beaten, even to the point of just giving up, being faithless without much hope at all. I too have felt like this many times letting my guard down and at times tempted to lose faith and become faithless. It's so interesting that Karikari Beach also has had its fair share of trials even recently with landslides devastating the area. But roads are being rebuilt or already built. Just like you and I can rebuild our own weaknesses to become strong once more. Being courageous simply means to have courage, to be brave, determined, bold, adventurous, or just giving something a go. It is also true, unfortunately, a lot of people today want everything easy for them, thinking of doing nothing or achieving things with very limited effort at all. How many of us wish to win the lottery thinking you'll be finally happy in life? The truth is, although you may be happy buying things at your own leisure, unfortunately you still can't buy happiness. In fact, the greatest joy anyone can experience is to actually overcome something through perseverance and determination to accomplish something with a purpose. It's not easy 
to experience and accomplish true joy. There's always a lot of effort that comes with it. But with courage, determination, your adventure can begin. With courage, you can be bold in what you set out to achieve, even if others don't believe in you. Deuteronomy 31 6 NIV says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. As a Christian myself, in Scripture, courage is also referred to being bold or confident in our own faith. We have been given to simply being brave to overcome any trials that come our way, knowing by trusting in God we can achieve something extraordinary for an even greater purpose. In summary, be courageous even if it's just giving something a go. Even if people tell you differently, knowing that God is always with you, have faith and be strong, courageously overcoming the strongholds that limit you. Trust in the one who knows you and loves you, for he has greater plans for you, no matter how hard or challenging things may seem. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. Only when you persevere is when you can experience true joy in accomplishing something legendary, having a legacy with a purpose for others to follow. My name is Dan. Thank you for watching. Remember, be brave, be determined, be adventurous, and keep it real.